Hello, my name is Queen C and welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to make a second tutorial on how to cartoonize a photo and this time I decided to use a picture that had a little bit more detail, had a little bit more work so we I can get in more in depth on how I did it and show you guys a little bit slower how the process was so you guys can have a better understanding for when you do it. Again, for this project, I used Paint Tool Sci and my digital tablet. I would list what type of tablet it is down below in the description. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, for the first part of this video, I took my time to outline the parts that I wanted to emphasize. This step is completely optional. Some people like to start off with straight coloring and adding detail, and that's perfectly fine. The best thing about art, as I stated before, is making it your own. So for me, I like to outline the parts I want to stand out so that when I color it in, it has a more of a stylized effect to it. And as you can see, this time I did not use the line work layer. I just used a regular layer. I chose the pen tool and I varied the sizing to add more emphasis and detail to certain areas and thinned it out in places where that didn't need that many details. And as you can see, I zoomed in, I zoomed out, I moved around and I just tried to make sure I got everything. But of course, I'm human. I missed a couple of things. And as you guys will see, I had to go back to certain things and outline them. But this video is just a tad bit longer and this is a part one of part two so that way you guys can see in a slower pace how I make the things that I make.
now as we get to the coloring part of the video I can personally say that for me this is the most frustrating but rewarding part of the process when you color in you have to be careful in a sense of making sure that your color palette is correct I know a lot of people like to make their color palette before they start working on a piece but you know I just like doing things the hard way so I usually just eye drop the actual picture and use that for reference but sometimes it doesn't really work so my advice to you is when you eye drop something make sure that it actually fits into the theme of what you're doing it might be too cool for the project or too warm so you can adjust the color as you see fit another thing that I would suggest is to choose which method is good for you in terms of coloring it in Sometimes I was able to use the magic wand, other times I used the selection tool, other times I just went in with the brush and colored and used the bucket tool. There honestly is no right or wrong way to color in a portrait. All of them work their own unique ways on certain spots, certain areas, certain pictures. So what I would suggest for you is to just do all three. If you find one that's your go-to, stick with that. If it doesn't work, don't stress it out. Trust me, any way that you figure out how to do your art is perfect in its own way. But for me, I alternate it between doing the magic tool, which is when I would make a selection source and use that selection source to select something in another layer and fill it in that way. Or I would take the selection tool, color in that area, then deselect the access area and then color it in that way. The last way in which I would do it, I would take the color brush and outline the area that I would want it to color in and then use the bucket tool. Sometimes it worked, sometimes I did, sometimes it didn't simply because of the fact that I didn't close it in the right way. So for the bucket tool method, I would suggest to make sure that the area you drew out is boxed off or else, you know, control Z is going to be your best friend. Either way, no matter what method you use, they should all work. It's going to take some practice, it's going to take some patience, but I promise you it will pay off.
Like I stated before, this is a part one out of a part two tutorial in which I will be covering in an own separate video how I shade and add all the final details because I know the first video was very short and I do apologize for that. But in this video, I do hope that I went into more detail or I showed you guys how I did things better so you guys can replicate or understand the process. And if I did or didn't, please comment, comment below and let me know what you think. Please like and share if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you like this channel. I would like to hear back from you guys. I would like to see and hear from you guys again. So please like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day.